satisfaction, you often get advice to turn back to Allah. Pray to him, they say. Hi guys, welcome back. So today is Ramadan day 11 or 12. I don't know, I've not been fasting because I've been sick. But today I forgot that I'm, that I'm still not fasting. I'm about to go out, so I'm just about to eat. Let me show what I'm eating. So I have this. I'm not supposed to take much sugar, so I have cookie. I'm going to dilute it. I have water. That's my bag because I'm just heading out. Immediately I'm done. This is from yesterday's leftover. If child left over. I haven't been vlogging because I don't feel good. But yeah. I'm better, alhamdulillah. It's quite about one or two something. I know it's not good to like, talk while eating, but... Guys, am I the only one that if I had a dream back and then when I woke up, like, I must Google like what that dream of mine says. I had like a really weird dream. It's still in my head. <laughs> and I'm constantly thinking about it since I woke up. I am just going to head out now. I have a lot of places to go to and I still have to come back and make iftar and I think it's almost two. But I'm prepping everything before I leave so that it can be easier. Like when I come back, I'll just get to it. Yeah. Hi guys. So I just finished with the tailor's shop. I actually collected my clothes from the previous tailor because he told me he couldn't sew them. They've been sitting with him for like a couple of days, like more than a week. And he, he just told me yesterday. So I came to RSP something 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 couture i think to give my clothes and i ended up purchasing some of their dresses they're really pretty you guys should check them out i'll show you what i got when i reach home so yeah i'm going to drive back home it's currently i think almost to four and i need to make a stop with ama because ama too is getting clothes for eid and we want to sew something together so yeah I don't know, I've been calling her, she's not picking, but I'll just go. It's in this, like, around the same place we live, so, like, it should be fine. And my brother is coming for iftar today, so I need to, like, rush room so I can cook. I'm not fasting, so it's him and my husband, so. Yeah, guys, that's the update, and I shall start driving. Like, with my glasses, I see the word, like, green. <laughs> I'll be, my husband says yellow when he wore my glasses. He said he sees everything yellow, but like it's very warm with green on the zone. Anyways, guys, enough of the chit chat. I need to get going, and I need to get for. I don't even know like where to like get for guys because the um what is it called the full station I normally get for. They don't have well today, and it's just close to my house, and I don't know any other place to go to. I mean, there are a lot of full stations around, but yeah. Hi guys, so updates. I look so dark. Anyway, so I just came back home and my brothers are already here and it's almost four to five and I haven't started making any design. I need to rush. I have the clothes here. I'm not showing you now. So after later, because I need to go and go. I need to rush them. Also, um, I branched by... I need to get that hole covered. Honestly, like I'll do it tomorrow. Um, I branched by one perfume shop to get perfume from my night. But then I was so like, I don't, they all smells too good. I was so indecisive and I was in a hurry. So I told them I'll come back tomorrow. They are just close by my house. So I'll do that tomorrow. Now I need to head to the kitchen. Let me just change. Hello. 
مختلفة كاليفا يا ناي يا ناي I'm not look at you. <laughs> so guys, these are the clothes I got from RSB Potter. They are 30 dresses. You guys should check them out. They have really nice stuff. Let's try them on. This is what this one is looking like. Let me wear it so I can show you. You guys, ignore my mirror. It's dirty. My maid didn't clean it well. So this is what this one is looking like but it's a little bit too big i have to get it like adjusted but this is it look see the details just ignore the mirror it's so so dirty see the details you guys this is the second dress it's like it's like an abaya with an inner and it has a belt actually i don't know the mirror is so dirty it's not doing just the so yeah like this is it and i love the fabric it's so comfortable and it smells really nice this is it it's very comfortable i cannot wait to rock this i think i'm going to wear it out very soon and then i'll show you like properly but i love it it's raining i don't know if you can hear me well but i love it guys and the dresses are very cheap let me show you this is just 40k the green one this is the black one is 30k this black one that has silver on it and then the other black one is i think it's about 40 or 32 like they're just very affordable all of them i think the tag has is not there anymore but yeah let me put it on so you can see you guys oh my god i am sold i love this oh i think it's so not clear but okay this is better like just see the details on this i love it like it's so beautiful it's it fits perfectly look at the length like it's just so perfect oh my god see the details like oh i love it. it's my favorite i'm going i love it so much oh my god i'm going to go get more they're so beautiful and so comfortable and like they're just so elegant if you wear this you're going to look so stunning. Is this my wardrobe? It's a mess. Like, just look at this. I'm going to put them in here. Let me show you. I have shoes on there. Really, they are so scattered. So, I need to rearrange my abayas and I need to get more hangers because I have some abayas that don't have hangers. And I'll put them. Let me. And I have unboxed some of this and I'm like, I have some that I haven't used. So, yeah. And I have like some in my husband's room yeah so i need to redo this wardrobe everything is so messy so this one i have to take it to get it readjusted because it's a little bit baggy i'll do that tomorrow and they gave me this for free it's a cap i think yeah so that's so nice of them that's it so guys i'm already in my 90s i'm just going to go downstairs and show with my husband I'm sure he's already asleep. Anyways, I might just catch up on a series I started watching on Netflix, and yeah, that's it. And yeah, I saw them like sort of those clothes, they've been there for like a couple of days, but yeah, that's it. So, yeah, see you guys when I see you. You guys, it's literally 3 30 a.m., and my husband and I just came back from my brother in law's house, and we are 
no no we are i made this um puff puff butter before we left i wanted to make it puff puff we we're supposed to come back by 12 we went by 10 but then we ended up still it is currently 3 30 a.m so i am craving puff puff i cannot sleep without eating puff puff so i'm frying that seeds then go and sleep and yeah it's almost done i cannot show you myself because i am not I'm wearing nighties and my hair is not covered so yeah i love that i can't know it's to dig in yeah i'm not even fasting but yeah like i'm still gonna have it because i am craving it i'm actually becoming better at making puff puff because i literally make it every other day this ramadan like if i don't make it today i'll make it tomorrow what i do is i make puff today and i make like a carrot tomorrow ignore the oil it's because i fried yam in it earlier and this is literally the last batch of oil i have i need to like restock tomorrow this is how i put it in case i've washed my hand but in case you like find it gross your business this is how i just put it so it works for me and i'm going to eat it so yeah you can just put on anything if you like or get a puff of whatever and do it so yeah that's it guys i'll see you tomorrow so guys i am done this is everything ignore how like it's slightly burnt and I love it so much. I'm sure my husband wants to see it, so I'm just going to take it to him. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have fun to cook. Hi guys, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. No, no, welcome back. Anyways, today is Sunday. It's currently 12 something. I woke up like an hour ago and I'm ready. I'm going out. I'm hosting my illness tomorrow, which is Ramadan day 15. And I need to go like do some shopping, buy one or two. So I can start preparing for the food and what's not later tonight. So yeah, guys, that's that. And yeah, I think I'm going to take you guys along with me. If, like, I didn't get busy. So yeah, let's go out. I think I need to make by make a stop by at H Melix. And then sad. Or maybe I'll just do everything at H Melix so that I can, like, come back and make iftar and what's not. So yeah, let's go. Hi, guys. So I just finished with the market and I just came to the supermarket to get some things then I'll go to go home, drop them and then head to head to H Medics because I'm going to get some things from, from H Medics and then I can get them in the supermarket but I trust H Medics better when it comes to them. So I mean like H Medics have like a lot of options and I want to get um samosa for samosas for Amma and I. So yeah, I'm going to do that and then then go drop Amma samosa, then head home and start cooking my husband's iftar and then start prepping for tomorrow's iftar. So yeah guys, that's it. Let's head to the supermarket. Guys, I went to the market. I am so tired. Like this bottle was full and I finished it immediately. I got in the car and everybody was looking at me like oh, she's not fasting. <laughs> But I couldn't like hold it. Oh my god, had it been I was fast and I came like I went to the market, I, I wouldn't have been able to survive. I was just so sweating. On a normal I like I don't sweat. I hardly hardly sweat. But because I'm wearing all black and you know black attracts heat and it was so sunny. Hey god, today is so sunny honestly. So I was sweating on my forehead and I was so hot. Immediately I got in the car. I just I was gulping on my water. Anyways, guys, let's head in. Guys, I'm done with the supermarket. Let me show you the condition of my car. I have stuff literally everywhere. See the front seat and then like the bag. And then I have like so many stuff in the boot. So I am heading to fetch my drinks now. Just because I'm hosting tomorrow. Like I literally bought so many things. And I'm like cooking just a little how do i keep you guys i need to belt myself and i'm cooking just a little but i literally i bought the whole store and i'm still going to h medics to pick up a few things uh, yeah. my 
husband is always complaining how like close my chair is <laughs> so the um to like the seat because i'm literally short i'm not short sure. don't call me short why do i like go like this okay. guys i'm a very good driver myself I know put filter. I like my Zaka filter. Oh, yeah, Baba. Today is Monday and today is the day I host people. I just woke up. It's currently Miriam Chocola. Hi guys. So as I said, today is the day I host and um I am about to go out and I'll just carry you guys along honestly. I just woke up, it's currently 10 in the morning and I look like an absolute shit. I need to go get something done, so yeah, let's go. It's amazing how time flies during Ramadan, right? <laughs> Each day brings a unique mix of spiritual growth and self-discovery, making every moment in this holy month truly, truly special, honestly. As Ramadan draws to a close, there's a mix of emotions like looking forward to celebrate Eid while also cherishing the peaceful moments of Ramadan that's left. The spiritual connection and closeness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are so uplifting. I wish these moments could last forever as we reach the halfway mark of Ramadan and approached saying goodbye to this blessed month. My heart is filled with a deep prayer for all of us. Let's hope this spiritual bond, peace and closeness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will felt continue to grow even after Ramadan ends. May the nearness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we feel during this month remain in our hearts perpetually if we strive for it. So I'm working on my post-Ramadan goals. I'm determined to add a touch of romance to my life, step out of my comfort zone and dive into new adventures. Exploring life, facing my fears and discovering new hobbies are all on my agenda. Like 
art. Art has always held a special place in my heart. So I'm immersing myself in the world of painting. And guess what, guys? I'm also embarking on a journey to learn how to play violin. Like, I really, really want to do that. I've been wanting to do that for the longest time. It's all about seizing the moment, embracing change, and welcoming new connections. Despite my past experiences, I'm opening my heart to new friendships and positive experiences, finding happiness in the little things, spreading kindness, and giving my best to those around me are my top priorities this year, I think. I know life's journey is full of twists and turns, but recognizing and cherishing its small joys is what truly makes it a beautiful adventure. Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu attaqu Allah Ittaqu Allah Ittaqu Allah wal tanzur nafsum qaddamat li ghad Wa attaqu Thank you. 